Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today we're going to demonstrate how to punch down a uh, patch panel and what we have here is we have the tools that are necessary to, uh, to punch down and to, uh, to uh, dress a uh, patch panel. First thing we start out with is a punch down tool. This is a punch down tool. It has different, le uh, different adjustments for its strength as far as uh, impact and it comes with a uh, 110 blade or you can buy them with a 110 blade and you need the cutting side of the 110 blade so this is a punch down tool and you sh if you're interested in seeing more details on a punch down tool uh, take a look at our other videos that are on the net and you can see how to, to use this tool the other tool we have is we have a specialized scissors um, these scissors are used uh, uh, in particular for uh, the cabling industry and as you can see right here, there's, there, there are stripper uh, grooves in there so you can strip the casing off of the individual wires and therefore the different size uh, gauge wires. It's also not held like a normal scissor, it's held like this when you, when you are stripping wire. And um, they're not your normal scissors you use to cut paper with, but they're, uh, they're a tool that you use uh, in cabling. And it was interesting, I've been in cabling for oh, about 30 years now, and to see some of the old guys uh, with Pac Bell and AT&T that used to do wire splice, splicing, and they used to use these scissors, and uh, as fast as lightning they would dress a cable uh, just using these scissors, not wire cutters, but scissors. And of course we have our uh, sample wire today. And here's our 24 port um, Cat 5E uh, patch panel. We sell these patch panels. And on the back you have your uh, 66, uh, I'm sorry, your 110 type punch downs. So what they look like. And uh, this is your standard type of punch down, the 110 punch down. It has a little color code strip there. So if you don't know the color code, you can follow the strip and it will tell you. Okay, now we're going to strip the cable. We're going to cut off the uh, string that's used to take off the outer cover. And then we're going to cut off the excess. Now, when you're patching, when you're Cutting, uh, punching down a uh, cable, what you want to do is you want to keep the twist as much as possible uh, all the way up to the punch down. And you want to follow the color code that's printed right on the cable. Let me show you before we punch down what it looks like. This is before you punch down. And of course you're going to have all the cables going in there so that, that's the way you want it. And notice that the twists are kept as tight as possible uh, up into the punch down. Now I'm going to punch it down, but as I punch it down it's going to cut the excess off. You can see the excess uh, being cut by the cutter. And there you go. And that's how you punch down a, uh, a patch panel. You want to keep this as short as possible, no longer than an inch. And you want your twists on your individual uh, cables as tight as possible all the way up to the punch down. You see the orange pair right there, how tight that is? You want to keep that as tight as possible all the way up to the punch down. So um, what you also want to do is when this is all done, this is up on a uh, on your uh, data rack, bolted to the data rack. When you're all done you want to tie all the cables together using tie wraps. You know, of course they will go all along here, uh, distributed to each area there. Um, so you want to tighten them down as, as tight as you can with tie wraps or without indenting wire so you don't want to overdo it. 
but once you do all that then you want to test your cables using a uh, a cable certified uh, a cable tester that can certify the cables uh, I hope this answered your questions concerning uh, how to punch down a uh, patch panel and um, don't hesitate to uh, email if you have any questions or if, uh, or even to visit our website if you have any questions and the website is www.cablesupply.com thank you